Hey there, this is Nakador coming to you from uh, Pocket Legends. Uh, just decided to make a little commentary about myself, where I'm from, what I do, and why I still play this game till today. And I just want to lay out uh, what if I say in this video is my opinion. If you agree, if you don't agree, just like the video, dislike the video, do what you want. I mean, it's, it's a video, just whatever. Let's start off by Baleford. Uh, well, this is where I am most of the time, besides PvP. I do a lot of selling, buying, just whatever it is. You know, this is where you win, this is where you lose. This is where people become rich, and this is where be people become poor. Now we're off to Black Smoke Mountain. Uh, Black Smoke right now is currently the highest cap of the game. Uh, right now, 12-5-2013. I heard there's a new cap coming out pretty much in January. Uh, level 81. Uh, I don't know anyways, but anyways, just to explain things about myself, I decided to make this video just to let people know who I am, what do I do, and... Why I run, you know, things that people have been thinking. I don't know if you, you might not even care. You might not even know who I am, but I just wanted to explain some stuff. Uh, anyways, you should know that if you see me in PvP and if you're a bird, I am highly, <laughs> there's a high chance I might rush you. Uh, if you don't know the meaning of rush, just go into the forums and figure it out. It's typically just it's just rushing. Yeah. You see that boy right that little uh little bird right there, a Nexus, whatever. <laughs> that guy's too funny. That guy's too funny. Uh anyways, I play this game every day. Come back from school. I'm a senior in high school. Uh 18. Uh, I'm Nigerian. I think I mentioned that a lot in the forums. I'm Nigerian. Moved here in 2001. I moved here right after 9/11. I think my plane, my plane was literally like right after 9/11. I think uh, we moved here from Nigeria because uh, we just thought America would be a nice place to live. You know, we had a great life in Nigeria, but you know, we just decided. Since my dad has two wives, why not just let one live in America? And why not just, you know, spread them out a bit? Anyways, back to Pocket Legends. Uh, we're going into PvP. If you know anything about PvP, you know that uh, it just takes... It might take some skill for some people, but button mashing is another skill, too. It is a skill. Button mashing is a skill. Trust me, that is... Uh, back then I used to button mash all the time and I would still kill people, but now I know what to use what to do I know how the game works and uh, I Try my best as you can see I'm looking I'm looking to my right because I know this guy's about to show up and there he is <laughs> These guys are ridiculous if you if you've ever fought a bird you would realize that they they tend to run a lot, you know because they know that they they will drop just by the single hit they will drop to the ground so they try to team up a butt a, a bit you know try to uh, get their chances up up oh, there goes my ping I don't know what that is I should let you know if some people if you want proof here's your proof I live on the third floor in my house so my uh, signal is quite bad living on the third floor uh, I do have a 1,000 feet uh, modem, a little modem adapter for my uh, desktop, but you know it's what it is. It still, still kind of sucks. But anyways, I thought that I would quit this game back in 2012 when I bought a gaming rig. Uh, I bought this nice gaming rig. And I took some parts, replaced it, and now it's a nice gaming computer that can run pretty much any modern games out there. 
at full specs, ultra settings, water cooled, everything is just nice spec. I don't even know how to explain it, but it's just it's awesome. Cost me really cheap because I bought the parts from Craigslist. Uh, but who knows what it is? You gotta make you gotta make a profit somehow. If any of y'all are watching this video, you should know that this kid, there's this kid named Stomp. This, there's a lot of people about there. There's this kid named Stomp. This guy is the most racist guy I have ever met in this game. I've been playing this game for three and a half years, or how long it's been out now. This guy is the race, most racist guy I have ever met. If you want to pause the video and go back to the uh, picture I showed you, this guy is ridiculous, all right? The things you say, <laughs> it's too much, too much. But hey, anything, anything is, anything is that is as it goes. Uh, this is, this is where I'm rushing this random guy. I, I don't know why though, I just felt the need to rush him. He's just trying to figure out what he's gonna do. You know, if he's gonna do a little, little dance for me, if he's gonna actually try and kill me. You know, but, you know, it's what it is. Uh, if you wanna know the reason why I rush, I just do it. I like to see people's reactions, I just like to see what people can do. Uh, if you, have, if you actually have skill, if not, I mean, it teaches you. It's not like I'm saying, oh, I'm some monk or something. I'm trying to teach you secretly the ways of PvP. Uh, but, you know, it's like, it teaches, it's just like, hey, you know, it tells you I need to learn how to kill someone, you know, and it just, you know, it's, it's helping. It's helping. I feel like it's helping at the same time while I'm having fun killing you over and over. But anyways, uh, I've been playing this game since 2010. Uh, been, it's changed dramatically since 2010. I feel like Pocket Legends is going down the drain. Uh, Space Time Studios, does, seriously, they do not give two shits about Pocket Legends anymore. Uh, they've gotten enough money out of it. They're just trying to, they're trying to squeeze out the most they can. Uh, the last drop before they probably shut it down. Uh, if you play the game recently, you realize that most items are just being reused uh, due to changing the colors, changing the graphics. Just like the horn set, you know, they change, they switch the uh, graphics, the uh, image around, change the colors, and flip the horns upside down. Just to, <laughs> just to call it innovation, but you know what it is. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna rage because I do play this game. I'm telling you, I bought this computer. I hope that I. I the hope that I'll stop playing this game, I'll just start focusing, you know, on Call of Duty or, I mean, even World of Warcraft. I even started playing that, but I'm still back at Pocket Legends, which is pretty sad and pretty weird. It's pretty much because I used to play this game back in Texas. Uh, right now I live in Connecticut, but back in Texas three years ago, uh, I used to play this game every day after school. Loved it. Uh, every aspect of it, everything they provided, I loved it. It was like my little World of Warcraft back then. My little iPod Touch first generation. Uh, I didn't really care about the game, as I said before. Uh, but now, as you know, I do care about this game. Uh, but, you know, I feel like hope. I feel like all is lost and uh, Space Time Studios uh, is just pretty much going to just give up on us and move on to their other games. When they should stop making games and just focus on the games they've already made and, you know, make it for the best. But it's what it is. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much, pretty much all I have to say right now. Just let I go ahead and let you watch the rest. Again, this is Nakador. My other usernames, I do have a bunch of usernames out there, but <laughs> it's what it is. You might know me, you might have an idea who I am, but uh, you never know. The same guy that just trusts you might be the same guy that you're giving that full demonic deck set to for, uh, for half the price because <laughs> you thought it was another guy. <laughs> Go back to this. Let me just let you watch this. Thanks for watching. Have a good one. Uh, 
I should add that uh, being in high school and being a senior, uh, a friend of mine and I created a club with a few other students. Uh, it's a club, but it's actually a real company that we're looking to uh, pursue in the late future, uh, dedicated to creating mobile app developments. Uh, he's been accepted to Full Sail University with a full scholarship because he declined Yale when they offered him a full scholarship. And Full Sail was like, hey, you know, he's dedicated to us. Why not just give him a full scholarship too? Uh, so we're looking to recreate uh, Pocket Legends. We're already picking up the designs and everything. We're going to make it better. Everything, you know, is what it is. Look forward to it. Uh, that's pretty much it for now. Knock the doors out.